Hi, I'm Rayburn Johnson for Sample Library Review, and today I'm checking out Time Textures by Sonia Score. Borrowing material from their orchestral content and combining it with an intuitive modulation matrix, Sonia Score have brought to life orchestral sustained patches that move and breathe and will fit wonderfully into underscore cinematic and ambient tracks and scores. Time Textures is compatible with the free contact player version 6.7.1 or above. It downloads as 6.17 gigabytes and includes over 200 presets across 25 instrument patches with up to six round robins and up to five dynamic layers. Time Textures is available from Sonya Score for $249 So today we're checking out Time Textures by Sonia Score, and this library is really just gorgeous. This is really all about sustained textures that live and move and breathe. Orchestral content that isn't just static, isn't just a single articulation, but combines layers in order to bring movement and vitality to the samples. The engine is really simple. There's two what they call emitters, what Sonia Score calls emitters, where you have two sound sources and there's an effects window, an LFO, and really the combination is all about combining unique orchestral and ambient textures um, that, that really move and breathe via the mod wheel. So we're gonna go through some of the presets, we're gonna look at the engine together, and let's just go ahead and dive right into the very first preset, which is Lunar Eclipse. I mean, is that gorgeous or what? This is just so cool. I'm gonna hold down the notes and you'll see that as I do, you can see the little textures emitting here. These are what they call sound particles. And each of those little symbols represents a number of articulations. I think that the articulations are only, or each sample is only around three seconds long but the samples are being laid together. They're staccatos laid together with sustains, with trims. It's just really magically <laughs> combining these textures. You can see them bouncing around here. You have an X, Y axis where left to right is really about the stereo field and where those particles sit in the stereo field. And then up and down is where they sit in the dynamic range. So we'll start at the bottom. And you can see it's really quiet as we pull it up. You can see those particles moving to the top. Really, really, really cool. Okay, so let's dive into the preset library here. You can see that there's numerous ways that Sonia Score have categorized these. And also, as they do in their other libraries, they're giving, the, giving you the ability to make uh, different ones favorites so that you can easily find them later. So we can do things like a single or couple type. You have your own user's presets that you can create whether you want something that's more natural or cinematic, the instrument variation that you want, what kind of character, whether that's ambient or intimate or dark or distorted, and then the textures themselves. And it will let you know what the combination of instrument patches um, are being laid down to create their preset. There's 25 different instruments here and a number of different articulations that are on offer. So let's just go ahead and let's move to the next one, Aurora Borealis. And I can, I want to play with two hands when I can, but I'm trying to really control this mod wheel a lot so you can really feel the movement here. Really, really 
cool. Let's go check out another one. Devonian Forests. I mean, that is just really, really cool. You can see here as we click the instrument, you have strings, brass, woodwinds, keys, violins, violas, celli, basses, arco, solpont, and harmonics. And you can pick each of these. So you could do something like violas with solpont or harmonics or celli, you know, with the same thing, or you could do basses with that. Woodwinds, you could say oboes with tongued or flutes with air or... As you could see, clarinets with tenuto. I mean, there's just so many different things you can do here. We'll get into the modulation a little bit more in a bit. Let's go ahead and keep going. Let's check out photosynthesis. that arco texture for the violins. I want to just hear that. Let's turn the pianos off for a moment. Really cool. Let's check out just the piano by itself. We have a felt piano here. So let's see what that's all about. Let's take it down and bring it in. That is super cool, guys. That's super cool. Wow. How about human era? Yeah, wow. How about Icy Cryogenian? You can see the key range is a little bit smaller on this one. Yeah, interesting. That really does have an icy feel to it. How about Jurassic Bloom? That seems appropriate right now, given that the Jurassic World movie has taken the world by storm.
really cool. It is definitely hard to play with two hands and control the mod wheel at the same time, but I really want you guys to get a feel for how this library works because it really is all about that mod wheel. How about, now this has Chelly uh, and clarinets. Let's do that one. Rodinia, maybe? Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Ooh, lots of cool things going on with the mod wheel here. We'll talk about that in a moment, but let's go ahead and check it out. So essentially what you have here is with the effects, that's a little bit more straightforward. You obviously have a ton of different effects that you can choose from. I mean, you've got reverbs, delays, you name it. I mean, there's just lots of different stuff that you can choose from. But in addition to that, what's really cool is you can modulate pretty much everything. And it's really, really simple. Let's actually go over here. You can just simply hit this little... Uh, little icon there and it will actually allow you to control how the mod wheel works. So you can see that when I assign it, I'm going to take it off just so you can see. So when I assign it, I'm presented with a new arrow that I can simply drag up or down to essentially say what I want that control to do when I move the mod wheel either negatively or positively up or down. But then you also have this really cool thing here so that you can actually, you'll see that, let me do that again. When I turn this on, you'll see two little dots appear at the bottom and you can see they start spinning to really bring your attention to them. This is where you can control exactly how much of that mod will, exactly what the mod will has to do in order to come in. So here I control the range on this particular effect and here I control at what point the mod will kicks that particular effect in. So really, really simple. Same thing with the LFO. You can, you know, use the LFO for, you know, frequency modulation. I mean, you can just, you know, you can see here there's low frequency, high frequency, emitter gain. So the gain control, essentially, you could create something like a gate with this. Um, so just a lot of different options here. You can change the waveform for your LFO. You can obviously put it in sync with your DAW, or you can do it by frequency. Uh, you can control the amount, all of that kind of thing. So you can see there's just a lot of different options. You can turn that on or off, obviously. And here you can see the Q, so you can control the resonance for the EQ as well. Um, so just, you know, a lot of modulation options. This is where that modulation wheel on the main page where you can really see why it has so many different levels because there's a number of different things being modulated and being modulated at different points on the mod wheel. So some things kick in late, like this one at the bottom here, it doesn't kick in until late. Other things kick in much earlier. So really, really intuitive, easy to use, easy to control, and you can pretty much modulate about anything you want to. I mean, you can see here everything from the mix volume to the effects themselves. I mean, each individual effect, you can take all of the different controls for that particular effect, and you can control that. Here's where you can select your effects. You can say everything from your filter to things like dynamics. So let me see, how did I pull that back up? Ah, here we go. So you can do things like delay, you can control different types of delay. I mean, there is a lot that you can do here. A reverse effect, or excuse me, a reverb effect with multiple kinds of reverb. So again, lots going on. Okay, let's get back to some presets here. How about non-cellular life?
Again, so much movement going on there. And again, the mod wheel just brings so much of it in and out. How about uh, Pinacoid Prism? I have no idea what that is, but let's check it out. Let's try, how about Biosphere? One thing you do not lack is movement. <laughs> Lots of movement going on here. Let's try cell division. So that has celli and trumpets. Let's see what that's all about. Let me see where the key range. Let's go down. Okay, let's go to tectonic plates. And this has muted trumpets with Solpont Celli. Right, let's jump down to, let's try this Hadian Zircon. I went through just a few of these earlier and I did favorite these two. I haven't been through a whole lot of the presets yet, but looks like I really like this one. So let's check it out. You know what, let's take that an octave down.
and let's jump down to black basalt. And that one is just featuring horns. So we only have one emitter active on this one. One thing I'm finding about this library is that there are certain sounds that lend themselves better to either just a couple of notes playing or a couple of notes in unison or even one note at times. If you play full chords, sometimes you can get a little bit cluttered on some of the sounds. Whereas like, for instance, this one, you can hear when I play one note in the bass and one and three in the treble. When I pull the mod wheel in, sounds really good, but it does sound a little bit full, which can be what you want at times, but listen to it when I just hold two unison notes. I mean, something like that just makes an excellent drone. That's just an excellent drone. When you hold a couple of notes in unison with something that that moves and breathes like this, really, really nice. Okay, let's go to Origin of the Moon. I mean, these, <laughs> this library, there are so many sounds here that are just instant underscore instant. You could score entire scenes with just this, you know, just that little bit of movement, that little bit of variation in the sustains. I love it. How about morphology? That one's all brass. So we have horns and trombones. Ooh, that tail was really nice. That reverb tail was really nice. How about nautical fiction? We have basses and trombones. So let's go really low here.
just really fun to play with something like this. You can just create. I, I love instruments that just inspire you instantly. There's just a lot of inspiration here. Okay. My obligatory winter patches. <laughs> this one's called Ice Age. I always have to play the winter patch, folks. You know, winter patches never disappoint, just like winter. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of disagreement with me out there, but I'm a winter guy. Okay, let's see here. How about Mediterranean Basin? We have Chili and Oboes. So Chili Arco with Tongued Oboes. I'm going to do something fun. Let's start with just the Chili, then we'll do just the Oboes, and then we'll listen to it combined. So now let's take the chelly off. Let's go with the oboes and let's see what we have. And you put the two together. That's great. Gosh, there's so much good stuff. Okay, let's play around a little bit with the instrument and feel. I'm going to go to the cinematic category. Let's do something that is rhythmic. And I don't know. Hmm. Let's go with boiling point. Flutes and harp. That sounds interesting. How about we do momentum?
Okay, let's do something intimate. And I like how you can, you know, you can choose multiple characters, multiple instruments, and that way you can find exactly the preset that you want with the characteristics that you're looking for. But let's go ahead and take a rhythmic off and let's do, I don't know, intimate. I'm a big Chelly fan. Let's do intimate Chellies hydrosphere. That's going to be Chelly and trombones. So we've got muted trombones and Chelly Arco. That definitely is intimate. Okay, let's do something with violas and maybe processed. That should be interesting. How about Northern Hemisphere? You know, where winter is. <laughs> plays and the camera pans over the wintry landscape with snow-covered trees. And fade to black. <laughs> All right, let's do, how about pristine? That sounds interesting. Pristine, let's take the violas off and just see what we have. How about Cambrian Flora? Trumpets and flute. Let's see what that's all about. Let's go up for this one. Ooh, I love that. I don't want to lose track of that. I love things that have that beautiful reverb tail. And of course, obviously you have full control so that you can create that yourself. But, you know, I love it when it's just right there in the preset and it's easy. Let's see here. How about distorted? We haven't tried anything too distorted yet. How about erosion sounds distorted? Let's try that. can tell that LFO is being triggered on this one. You can see that blinking each of the LFOs. So that's interesting. As I move the mod wheel, you'll notice that the EQ is actually changing. I love the graphic with that. I love the fact that the EQ is being controlled by the mod wheel and that's all set up via the knobs and controls. But I love the fact that you can see the graphic of that. So you can see you go from really boosting that low end and having a mid-range cut to boosting the mid-range and getting a high-pass filter in place. That's, that's super cool. Wow, how cool is that? And the effects, you can see it's just the mix on this one. Let's check this one out. So the LFO, oh, lots going on here. So you're actually turning down the lows. Wow, that is so helpful. Sonia score, bravo. 
I love being able to visualize that and not just seeing it on knobs. That is huge. So, so cool. It's the little things, everyone. Just make such a difference. Okay. Let's do some natural. Let's take the distorted off. Let's try something magical. Piano grand. I'm guessing that's octave. Let's see what that's about. Instant piano, just holding down chords. <laughs> All right, let's do one more preset. How about ambient? The whole thing's ambient, but let's see what we get when we just do ambient. How about mass movement? That sounds like a good place to go. That, my friends, is Time Textures by Sonya Score. There's just a whole lot to like here. The intuitive engine, and I got to say, I really love the look of it. I know that's a small thing, but it's really not. You know, I enjoy a good UI. Um, I just think it makes a huge difference when it's visually appealing to look at. But the sounds are great. You just get so many different options when it comes to instruments. You know, you've got so many different controls. I didn't even get into these. I mean, you've got for the individual instruments, you can see you can control your dynamic, your movement, your octaves, your speed. I didn't even, it didn't even occur to me. I forgot, completely forgot to show you guys that. You, here is where you can control with the mod wheel. And again, you can set that up so that you can control exactly where it kicks in. So you can control the dynamic, the movement, the octaves, does it stay in a single octave? Does it bounce around the keyboard? The speed, so you can speed it up as you go up with your mod wheel or even, you know, vice versa. But in addition to that, how could I have missed this? Gosh, I'm so glad I caught myself. <laughs> you have the particles engine, and this is where all of those fun little, you know, articulation bounces are coming into the graphical interface. This is where you can select your notes, is that going to be a low note, a high note? You can hit the seed, which is essentially a randomized function. Your attack volume, pan, spread, gain. Um, just lots and lots going on here. Actually, I totally, I can't believe I did that. I'm so sorry. Let's go back to that same patch. So you can see it's bouncing around the spectrum there. And let's go over here and I'll show you if we control the dynamic. So we're going to make it pretty, you know, mezzo forte, I guess, uh, from the very get go, from the very bottom of the mod wheel, we're going to have lots of movement going on. We can introduce lots of movement octaves. We're going to put the octaves all the way up and we'll kick those in. We'll even kick those in a little sooner. And then the speed, we're going to have the speed kick in, let's say maybe right here. And then the same thing over here for the bases. Let's make that mezzo forte, put tons of movement in from an early, from an early start. We're going to introduce lots of octaves and the speed. And so again, let's put the speed on here. We'll bring it in pretty quickly and let's see what we've got here. Of 
that movement can really Wow, I can't believe I almost forgot to show you guys the particle engine and the modulation for each individual side. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, you can tell there's so many customization options in here. You can control the LFO, all of the individual effects, knobs and layers, all of the different parts of each individual articulation. You obviously have your volume slider as well. So much to like about this instrument. Thanks for checking out Time Textures with me today. So what do you think? Will you be picking up Time Textures? Do you create underscore, ambient music, or something else? Comment below and let us know your thoughts. Please like the video and share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Also, be sure to check out samplelibraryreview.com for more news and reviews, and to stay in the know about weekly sales via our weekly deal compressor.